We at Caltech reach for the stars when we think about our research. We want to make huge discoveries. And so a few years ago, we took a leap of faith that perhaps the changes in the immune response to gut bacteria could affect neurological outcomes, in particular motor symptoms in Parkinson's. Parkinson's uh, disease affects about a million people in the United States, and it's the second most common neurodegenerative disease behind Alzheimer's disease. Based on the fact that there appears to be environmental triggers for Parkinson's, we chose Parkinson's as a model to test gut-brain interactions. Gut bacteria produce small molecules, metabolites, other factors that interact with the host. And what our research shows is that particular classes of microbial molecules enter the circulation. They may or may not get into the brain, we, we haven't tested that, but by virtue of producing these molecules, gut bacteria were impacting inflammation in the brain and motor symptoms. Maybe the most exciting part of the work is where we transplanted microbiota or gut bacteria from patients with Parkinson's and healthy controls. And what we surmise from that is that there are bacteria that are particularly missing or reduced in the Parkinson's population. And I think this is a, a new paradigm in microbiology that the absence of bacteria can be a risk factor for disease as opposed to the way we conventionally think about bacteria as causing symptoms or causing illness. There are many protective or beneficial organisms We've now set the stage to identify particular microbes that either may be harmful in Parkinson's uh, or may be beneficial. And if we can identify them, then we may someday develop a, a new treatment option for Parkinson's.